All the nuts and bolts that you'll have to get to on this generator are either a 12, the larger one that holds on the frame together, or the littler ones are 10 millimeter. So those would be the ones that we need to get access to this panel. Just loosen these up and voila, it'll come right down. You just undo these two 10 millimeter bolts and the bottom's hinged and it opens up and comes right down. And this is uh, the backside of all the plugs and outlets. And then what you're gonna see over here is the terminal strip. And this is what's related to in my installation instructions. For this generator to actually become auto start, you need an electronic control module to interface with the key, the glow plugs, and to determine if the generator is safe to run, if it loses power or oil pressure to shut off through this module. And this also lets it cool down in a cool down state once you turn it off. So anyhow, next step. The other tools you're gonna need is a multi uh, screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, a 532nds drill bit, a couple of uh, sheet metal screws that are about one inch long. Uh, that way they'll penetrate through the holes already pre-drilled in the auto start and then they'll stick out just far enough to get into the metal and get a bite. Uh, we also are going to need various color wire. Uh, you're going to need a total of seven wires according to the instructions that come with the auto start module. This is part of my package, something I created. It's proprietary to just me. And then uh, you're going to need a tape measure to measure out the length of wire that you're going to need to run from the terminal strip over here into this area above the battery. Let's measure that now.